All right, so the Ravens finally were able to sort of put a team away. Um, I really didn't even watch most of the game. I watched, like, the first quarter, and it was just so fucking boring. Because, you know, Joe. Joe is the most boringest player in the NFL. Um, yeah, I watched, like, the first quarter. I mean, I liked what I was seeing from the defense up until... Uh, uh, what happened? I think I think uh, Joe threw a pick and then they gave up a touchdown. And I was just like, fuck it. I'm just going to play some Madden and uh, I'll listen to the game on the radio. And then, uh, what it was, 7-6, uh, to six, we were down by one going into halftime. And I was like, fuck, this is going to be a long goddamn game. And then uh, came out and the defense was just buckled their chin straps. And they're like, we're going to have to go win this one. Didn't give up shit, really. The rest of the game was hitting them on every play, sacking them, getting uh, picks. Ladarius Webb had a nice interception. Uh, Weddle, after the game, said that if he didn't fuck up on that one pass to Barnridge, they would have probably uh, had a shutout. But I didn't see him. F I saw Webby fuck up on that one. He was out of position, and he stopped running. So, uh I think Webby fucked that one up, but I guess Weddle was just trying to eat it, take it, because he's one of the leaders on defense, you know. But, uh, yeah, the Ravens ended up winning 28-7. to The defense gave up uh, one touchdown, had two interceptions. They gave up 150 yards passing and 30 yards rushing, but that 150 yards passing is probably a lot less because they got a bunch of fucking sacks. Um... Joe, I don't understand what Harbaugh does not realize about Joe and throwing the ball over 40 times. He was he was 30 for 41 for 296 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. 41 times is way too many times throwing the ball. Granted, yes, we did. It was kind of balanced. We we threw it 41 times. We ran it 32 times, but. Still, 41 times is way too many times. And it, 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 it's like he can't go a game without throwing an interception. And it, he just doesn't look good in there, yo, at all. Like, at the end of the first quarter, I was like, fuck it, yo. If they don't put Mallet in on the next drive, I'm turning off the game. And, I, and he, they didn't put him in, so I turned it off, put it on the radio, and started playing some fucking Madden. But, um... I wish I would have actually turned the game on for the second half so I could see some of the, uh, like, I saw uh, the Bashard Perryman touchdown catch because they were saying on the radio that it was going to be reviewed, so I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to flip it on real quick, but, uh, I don't know, I probably should have just kept on watching the game from there, but I was busy in Madden trying to do the Madden Gauntlet Challenge for November, and I'm stuck on one of the last ones, the last Game Changer pack where you got to get... You have to force a fumble against the Raiders where whenever you get close to Derek Carr, he just hits like R3 and throws the ball out of bounds or he throws it to Michael Crabtree who's not going to fumble. <laughs> but, yeah. Joe was 30 for 41, 296 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Uh, the running backs had 32 rush attempts for 119 yards. Uh, Terrence West, I believe he had, uh, like 68 on 20 carries, so he was averaging like three yards a pop. But, yep. Suggs, uh, oh, I hope Lewis is not fucked up, yo. Because he, he, he looked like he was hurting pretty bad on his, uh, ankle. But, hopefully, the next 10 days he'll be getting back in the shape so hopefully he's not out for too long hopefully Zuta gets some a chance to get his legs back underneath of him and see if we can go on a run I highly doubt it with Joe but hey maybe anything's possible so all right